In this lesson, I will walk you through the first hidden feature, Content Aware Fill. So what does it do? If you're a Photoshop Pro, then this feature will be very familiar to you. Content Aware Fill has saved the day so many times by removing an object from footage and filling in the empty space with surrounding pixels. Just like magic, it's gone. Why is it useful? Throughout my professional experience, I have run into situations where my team discovered after a shoot that we needed to remove an object from a scene, or maybe we just needed some plain space to put text or a logo in. And now we have to solve that problem in post. Good thing is that Content Aware Fill has been the perfect solution to this. How to use it? I'm going to walk you through my thought process for how I go about editing a scene using Content Aware Fill. The first step in the process is to create a mask around the object you want to remove. I try to examine not only the object I want to remove, but also consider the background and how I can have a more seamless content fill. For example, if there's a complex pattern behind the object, I might select a larger area that includes the full pattern, so also remove it since it will be too complex to have a seamless result. Another thing that's helpful to consider is how much your object moves. In my example, the object is completely stationary, but if it was a moving object, I might expand my area selection to cover the total area that the object will be in, or I might adjust my mask as I scrub through the timeline so the program is only filling in content for the object and has less area it has to try and fix. So definitely remember to take time up front to watch your clip first and see what is the best mask selection for your needs. To create a mask, I'm going to make sure my video layer is selected, and then I'm going to click on the pen tool and trace around my object, and now my scene went black. No worries, all you need to do is go down to the mask and click subtract, which will invert the effect so the mask subtracts the selection from the rest of the clip. Pro tip, if the object moves during the video, you will need to adjust the mask at different points in the footage so it stays aligned with the object. Once I'm satisfied with my mask, I'm going to activate the Content Aware Fill panel. To find it, go to Window up above, and then down to Content Aware Fill. Then all you have to do is click Generate Fill Layer. As you can see here, it generates a brand new layer on top made up of a sequence of images of the filled in area. Now I'm going to walk you through a common issue you may run into and how you can solve it. Let's say you hit the generate fill layer, but you get an error message. What do you do? Well, the first thing I would do is check how your mask is being applied to the layer. In order for content fill layer to work, you have to have a hole in your scene. When you create a mask, it will automatically be in the add mode, which means only the selection is shown, which is the opposite of what we want. By switching the subject, you will get a hole, which you can always confirm by looking at the fill target screen of the panel. Here you can see it has a transparent hole. And now you're all set. To recap, this feature can be used in so many different applications. So remember to review the footage first and draw your mask selection according to the complexity of the object and the rest of the scene. And remember that if your object is moving throughout, you will need to adjust the points of the mask throughout to match the position of the object.